Lost and Found is Transformers Animated's its 11th episode, airing March 1st, 2008. In it, more Decepticons arrive to Earth, so the Autobots plan to just up and leave. Shenanigans ensue. The episode begins with a rover on the moon, kind of a tribute to the 2007 movie's teaser. Finding the remnants of Megatron's ship on the moon, like in Armada, just for luck not to squash it. We finally have our proper reinduction to the two main Decepticons, even though Blitzwing was in Frill to Hunt. They sort of cheat with the space background, and it's just a bunch of paint splatters. Apparently the two were halfway across the galaxy. What the hell they were doing for all this time, I don't know. But speaking about Frill the Hunt, Blitzwing directly references Lockdown, which Lugnut is not too happy about. In this shot, they also forgot a color in Blitzwing's like eyeliner, so it looks like he just has, I guess, normal eyes. They bicker about getting revenge on Autobots. Believe only two things. The Decepticons will rule Cybertron. And Megatron will rule the Decepticons, a glorious leader of race! Ah, asteroid. Actually, it's just a ball that somehow doesn't go through Ratchet's window as the bots are playing street hockey. But Ratchet was just casually sleeping outside in vehicle mode rather than his room. They forgot a color in the whites of her eyes here. He shoots, and a trash bot intercepts. Ooh. Bad luck. Was it really? Anime! Didn't we just have this discussion about Sari using that damn key too much in the last two episodes? Oh no, it goes off. For some reason, it decides to point out Cyclonus and Demolisher flying towards Earth as they harass some construction workers dressed like Sparkplug and Spike from G1 and get their asses kicked by a wrecking ball. Megatron is cautiously optimistic about the two stooges. And Ratchet wants Sari to stay behind because Double Trouble is pretty bad. And Prime's like, yeah, he's got a point. So they transform and roll out. Lugnut strikes a pose for the intro, so the Autobots decide to strike their own pose. But unfortunately, the Decepticons are badass because they actually have blasters and missiles on, like, the bots. And Blitzwing can even shoot fire and ice. We get a Cleveland reference, even though the Autobots came in from the west rather than the southeast. And I don't know, Megatron's looking a lot better than someone living in Ohio. So Lugnut nukes the ground. Well, that was a short episode. Yeah, they're okay. Fine enough for the voices in Lugnut's head to return. Instead of Megatron just telling him where he is, he decides to be vague. Humble enough to actually show his own face, and Lugnut grabs Blitzling and heads out. They fly over a military base. Blitzwing of all people with the multiple personalities thinks Lugnut's crazy, but no, it's a po-po. Lugnut wants to blow them all up until Megatron says no. So he scans the bomber, and Blitzwing struggles between two options. Shit. Tank! So shit. Tank! Shit. Tank! Fan zone cameo. Blitzling kind of blends in with the others, but Lugnut is like freaking purple and green. Well, that sucked, the Autobots say, and they plan to leave. Sorry does not take it so well. But they still need her key and Ratchet to go fish the ship out of Lake Erie and fix it. And Ratchet calls her a protoform. This totally doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's just what Transformers call babies, you know. No foreshadowing at all. Meanwhile, the two cons are thugging it on top of the advertising blimp that can somehow carry Lugnut. Megs finally remembers to tell him about the key, so they head out. The advertisement has like this weird watercolor sketchy thing with some deck tower, the dog walking bot, spark plug, and a monorail. And the cons are actually smart enough to use their advantages against the bots. They can fly and shoot. Really small detail, but you can notice Rad Shid driving on the ice. He switches to ice tires for like a second. But everyone ends up in the water. Nice detail, they put a water filter over the voices when they talk. Continuing the fight underwater, Prime uses his advantage by driving a big old dust cloud so they can fight strategically from the shadows. Sir and Ratchet find the ship, and Ratchet calls the ship Old Friend, which is definitely not important and definitely not foreshadowing. 
Oh, there's the Allspark. We haven't seen that since episode three. I guess it sort of makes sense to keep it in the ship somewhere no one would look. But also, like, it's unguarded. And also, they forgot to put the darkness filter on top of it so it looks like a PNG. Sorry doesn't want to help her friends leave, so she comes up with a idea. To pull out the wires. So unnecessary detail, but the wire connectors are all different. But then the key is like, dude, dick move and fixes it. Even the all spark itself decides to start up. Say, yo, sorry, if the key gets to Megatron, it's gonna be a bad time. So she accidentally opens up the door, flooding the room. Ratchet saves her with one of the most emotional scenes in the first season. I understand. I've become surprisingly attached to this little planet and its people. Especially you. If anything happened to you at the hands of the Decepticons, that's why we have to leave. Sorry understands. As it turns out, their ship is a former military vessel, so Sorry starts it up. Meanwhile, Lugnut afterburns and blows away to cover, but Ratchet has a plan. So the Autobots somehow swim like people. The Decepticons follow, but it was a trap and they get blown away, and the day is saved. Bubblebee wants spinners, and Sorry's like, ah, you damn kids. The two cons are in pieces, and oh, hey, Starscream! Where the fuck have you been? This is a great episode. Lugnut and Blitzwing are great characters, and despite being the two stooges, they end up being actually intimidating and able to scare the bots. Especially with how much trouble they have with just Starscream, it makes you understand why it would be just easier for them to pack up and leave than to deal with them. Sorry is pretty whiny in the episode, but it is understandable for her friends leaving. The emotional stuff is pretty great, and overall I'll give this episode a 7 out of 10. Lugnut, much like Lockdown and Bulkhead, makes his franchise debut. Lugnut is a beautifully unique character. Like all this very unique shade of green, the greenish yellow hazard stripes. His two toes, pincher hands, and even his mono eye, big jaw are very unique. I love everything about this design other than just his hands also being the bombs in vehicle mode. Because it's kind of weird that they would like shoot off and then he'll just like grow them back. The Cybertronian mode is just him, but all of his like vehicle kibble other than his chest was trimmed off. Like he just got back from the hairstylist. Blitzwing making his first appearance since G1 looks fantastic. Looking like a bad guy in World War II in the desert. I love that he keeps his wings in robot mode and he even keeps the tank turret and he has two tank turrets which is just cool. It's pretty surprising they went with Blitzwing because Hasbro for the very longest time was very against designing triple changers by themselves because they're lazy. But I'm going to actually be weird and say I kind of like Blitzwing's Cybertronian mode a little more. I think the spikier shoulders just look cooler. Very unique to animate Blitzwing, but he has a triple face like the Quintessons. His sort of main head is like the cool collective ice power one with the monocle looking like a scientist from bad guy World War II Germany. There's his angry, red, fiery head that's a reference to G1 while also doing an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. And then his crazy, law, random, XD, Jack Skellington head. Which I like that he has the multiple personalities, it's very fun. But I'm also kind of glad it just stuck with this Blitzwing and wasn't continued to other continuities. Other than the controversial Generations figure. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about that and the episode down below. And hit that like button and subscribe if you're new.